in the truck on our way northbound. We're going to Houghton, Michigan-ish area. Found another project sled, doo-da, doo-da. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, live action. Don't know if we're gonna pick it up yet. Don't know what it even looks like completely. Uh, all we know is it's 2020 Summit Expert. Had a little mishap out west. And uh, yeah, buddy's looking to get out from underneath it maybe, potentially. So let's go check it out. Check, 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 check it out. See what it's all about. Coming through one of my more favorite areas of this drive. Military Hill. Checking in, and you'll see where my shoulder there, we got a 2020 Summit Expert in the back of the truck. Whoops. Not whoops. It's like Dad said, if it whoops, if it's whoops, that means you shouldn't have. And I kind of should have. So, here we go. That's no good. That broken. Whoops! A little uh, fast forward from when I picked it up. Kind of forgot to start this, but we got straight A arms on it. Wow. These uppers were bent and uh, had the stock ones still, so we put the stock ones back on in order to use the lower. Got that in. And now she's, uh, we're gonna see if she's straight. S module looks fine. Couldn't find anything really wrong with it. The worst that's bent is this pipe support piece. And I think it's throwing it all off. So I'm gonna try ordering just one of these to help my situation out here. Cause otherwise everything else seems fine. Although, what the heck is up with that? Hmm, weird. Here are the originals, or the ones that were on the sled. She's a bit bent. A bit no longer straight. Hmm, so, yeah. Next thing's next. Check for straightness, I guess, amongst ball joints to some spot on tunnel and ski stance and yada yada. And the ski tips look fairly... I don't know, man. I just work here. At this point, uh, any of the measurements that I was taking were not coming out remotely close. Uh, so I decided I should probably inspect a little bit further. Sure enough, this is what I found. Uh, behind the primary, that E-module was pretty well cracked and busted. So, alright, E-module needs to get replaced. Well, the manual says that you have to pull the engine to do so. And upon further inspection, eh, I wasn't so convinced that that was the case. So we decided to go down the path of suspending the uh, chassis of the snowmobile via uh, the bulk, or the tunnel, excuse me, um, on jack stands, and then utilized, we removed the S-module, and then utilized a uh, strap to the ceiling uh, to kind of like an engine hoist basically to suspend the engine in the chassis in position so let's give it a try and see how things go we got supercross out in the garage anderson is going to win this one i think anyways look at here e-module can be dropped without pulling the motor the benefit of this is now all lines are still intact so it doesn't have to go to the dealership to get lines blood so we just have our custom lifting lug bolt here up to the ceiling. And uh, yeah, you can snag the old guy out of there and we'll put the new one in in reverse. Great success. And from here, it's pretty much the uh, reassembly process. Followed the manual for torque specs, for tightening sequences, for measurements, alignment, yada, yada, yada. Uh, the one thing that I uh, have discovered with this project is why I suck as a salesman. Let me tell you why I suck as a salesman. Or actually, why I suck as a project vlogger. And that is that I start strong with 
documenting things, going through the process, but then as things progress, it tapers off and it tapers off fast. That's when I blow it. That's when people like us have got to forge ahead, Helen. So basically the last clips that I had was, you know, the time lapse of me installing the oil tank and stuff back onto the E-module support. And then from here, it's just kind of scrapping together bits and pieces and clips and pictures and stuff. So um, a little summary of how things went is it all went back together pretty good until I went to go put the pipe in. And I'll put a picture up on the screen now of that pipe of a side-by-side -side comparison of a stock pipe with a pipe that came on this 2020 Expert. And you'll see that that um, loop-de-loop -loop, loop -loop that the pipe makes um, is a lot tighter on the inside of that bend than uh, the other one is. And that was the problem all along. So if you reference back to how I was saying, I think this pipe bracket is, pipe support bracket is screwing everything up. That wasn't the case. It's the pipe itself that was screwed up that was throwing everything off. And if I knew that from the get-go, I might have actually rolled the thing without realizing that the E-module was screwed. So, anyways, long story long, found a pipe locally from another guy that had a 850 and he had put a uh, aftermarket exhaust on it. So, picked that up from him and from there, put it all back together and here's some riding clips if you uh, haven't already seen them. So, another project in the books. Check. Peters, it's what's for dinner.